This is how the heart beats. An electrical charge is required for the heart to beat. This charge is formed based on the movement of ions in the heart. There are four phases to create this charge. Phase four is the resting phase. During phase four, the ionic charge is balanced. We then move to phase zero, which is rapid depolarization. This means that a net positive charge is flowing into the heart cell. Next, we have phase one, which is rapid inactivation. During this phase, ions quickly move in and out of the heart cell. This causes a slight negative charge. Phase two is the plateau phase. This phase is a very slow repolarization. This phase essentially has a balanced charge. Phase three is rapid repolarization. This will cause an overall negative charge. When any of the phases are disrupted, it can cause an irregular heartbeat. Class three antiarrhythmics are also known as potassium channel blockers. They work on phase three. Let's see how. This is potassium. This is the potassium channel. This channel allows potassium to enter and exit the heart cells. During phase three, the potassium channels are open. This allows potassium to leave the heart cell. Since potassium is positively charged, an overall positive charge is leaving the cell, creating an overall negative charge inside the cell. This is called repolarization. Repolarization is the act of bringing the electrical signal to rest. You can see here how the electrical signal fires, then comes to rest before it fires again. Let's see what the heart looks like when repolarization is too short. If repolarization is irregular, it can cause an arrhythmia by lengthening the resting state. Let's see how potassium channel blockers can correct this. Potassium channel blockers bind to the potassium channels and close them. This stops potassium from being released from the heart cell. Since potassium and its positive charge remain in the cell, the phase that maintains the active charge is prolonged. On an EKG, this increases the QT interval. When we delay repolarization by prolonging the active charge, we can correct the irregular pace.